<laughs> what's up guys welcome to the vlog what's up guys welcome to the vlog so get ready with me to go to school i know i just posted a graduation video but i'm just going to pick up my certificate um from school yeah it's time to get off the streets and get a job <laughs> um i've pretty much done everything as you can see i've done basically everything uh or we're remaining with the hair and powder let me just do some powder setting spray and then we get into the hair and you know so how are we doing how are you guys i can't imagine how 2023 like the past one month has gone by so f so freaking quickly <laughs> how is it february how is it first february how how is it already first of february like come on now chelsea slow down i don't have a mirror so i'm going to use my ipad so first of all i'm going with ezekiel cosmetics um powder so i'm going to powder down the makeup guys i'm trying to hurry up as much as i can because one thing about one thing about my former school ku their offices will frustrate you they will frustrate you so i'm trying to go as early as now morning hours right now it's around uh, 10 heading to 11 so i'm just trying to hurry up i live so far from my university like i'm on the other side i'm on the other side i'm on the other side of town of nairobi from now anyway no need to complete let me try and hurry up and then we go i love how i do my makeup nowadays i truly love it so now we go with the okay i'm so sorry all my products are kind of dirty so today we're going in with the now we're going in with the huda beauty i told you guys in my previous vlog i'm going to give a review on this and girl go get that powder it is so <laughs> it is so good it is so nice i really love this powder like i feel like it has a filter effect um when you apply it i'm really enjoying using it like let me show you guys see this is before okay i'm going to set it like that trust the process okay and then on my t-zone what i just don't like about it is icky to cj cj allow how to use this i don't know but i'll do some research on it cj oh ow jump scare it gets in my way a lot but it also helps you like not to waste the powder because can you imagine i've been using this for over a month but i've not been doing my makeup a lot this time like of late nowadays i have makeup secrets like the products i'm using right now the chapstick i think i'm going to do an updated makeup tutorial let me know down in the comment section if you want to see my updated um what is called makeup routine and nowadays i tend to self isolate so much i keep to myself i stay to myself so most of the time i'm just in the house chilling um i don't go out as much nowadays in fact this january i've not gone out like to the clubs and stuff i'm just self isolating like right now my mental capacity is not um my mental capacity right now is just not in the position to let other people in yet if that makes sense um i just want to stay to myself i want to work on myself i want to be a better person i'm doing home workouts i'm not yet i'm yet to get a gym <laughs> but trust me i've been doing home workouts like for real yeah i've been doing home workouts um trying to eat healthy trying to keep up a healthy mental um a healthy mental state and yeah uh so far i've been loving it the self-isolation has been magical and honestly i wouldn't wish it any other way i love it i love it here and then i'm also trying to get back into content creation like i want to be full-time on content creation but it's so hard like i feel most of my mental issues is caused by this content creation things because at the end of the day we are all seeking validation from a system you're trying to move to a system which is the algorithm that 
your content is good you are worth pushing out and stuff and it gets to you and you don't get um the exact results that you want or you expected so i'm trying to also lower my expectations on things that you know i have no control over so yeah i'm working on that too when whenever i feel like i think of going to ku i get second thoughts because that school number one is big so big too big and then in this january heat yes i'm done this is the final makeup look um i went to the slick back ponytail i didn't do my edges because i don't have time honestly guys i'm running late so now i go with my holy grail I have airbrush um setting spray from charlotte tilbury i really do love this if you can please get your hands on this because honey it is good this one will make your makeup stay intact for how long for a long time i know i want to touch on easy my setting spray all 24 hours but this one honestly it does it gives you the grip it holds on to your makeup like for a long time and i go in with my charlotte to charlotte too buddy jesus i'm obsessed with that brand i go in with my dng um the one the one um perfume yeah we're late but at least we'll get to smell good so yeah guys this is the final look i'm wearing let me show you my outfit of the day real quick i'm wearing this top from shein and then this um cargo prints and then i will go in with air force ones and that's my final day and then i'll i'll wear some accessories in the car though because i ain't got time so see ya I truly am exhausted. It's been to talk up around eleven. Not saying it's six. It's been eleven to talk eleven and six. Well, we've been out for seven hours. <gasps> we've been we've been literally out for seven hours, and now I'm back. One thing I hate doing is stepping out of the house to run errands, cause I'm so I'm so tired, guys. I'm so tired. And this is how the makeup is looking still. Do you see that? I told you that um, that setting spray will grip your makeup. Cause look, I've not touched it up. The makeup always creases on um, when I talk or when I smile. Cause you know, so that's why this form. But I can't touch that up. But look, it's been seven hours and it looks. It still looks fresh. You get it? So yeah, I went to school, right? I went to pick up uh, whatever, the, my certificate because I graduated. I didn't manage to get it because I'm so forgetful of some things. So I went there and if it, apparently you're supposed to carry some clearance form in which I have not, like I have it, but it's in my mother's house and my mom lives in Akuru. So I think I'll sort it out later I'll go back to school again some other time and then i went to junction mall at junction mall i got some kfc and salted caramel i know don't judge me i know i said i'm eating healthy and stuff but i've been i've been out for seven hours and i really deserve a treat so i bought a kfc with i've never tried their gravy so i thought of trying today and Salted caramel milkshake from Java. You'll never go wrong with that. That's the only salted caramel I'm taking because that cake you guys be forcing on us, the one from at Cafe, the salted caramel cake, trash. Come for me and beat me. That cake is trash. Adios, come with me. <laughs> I'm gonna freshen up and and just to Leah and then um edit some. Because if you don't follow me on Instagram kindly please do i am doing a 14 day challenge um christmas 
uh, 14 day Valentine's marathon where I'll be posting 14 inspo, 14 inspo outfits for my girlies, you know. So head on to my Instagram and kindly give me a follow and please subscribe to this channel if you haven't. And yeah, guys, I didn't show you. So <laughs> in the morning when I was talking to you guys, guess what? I had forgotten that I, I have not, I had not like taken supper. What am I saying? I had forgot that I, I had not taken breakfast. So I step out of the house. When I get to town is when I realize, yo, you didn't have your breakfast, honey. Rather. So after getting out of the school, see, up on jet, there is normally like uh, the vendors for the Mayai Pasua and the Smoky Pasua. So I, I take, I, I went and ate some Smoky and then they put for me trauma sausages. So I'm there devouring my Smoky Pasua. And then, And then that happened really yeah so i was walking around in junction one looking like this a hot hot you know mess <music> the gravy i was telling you guys about i'll taste it and let you guys know how it is and then eh, one mini can of king's mingi right and then we have the kfc over here three pieces and then now we have the java bell shake yeah, so basically this is my supper and this is the proper meal i've had the whole day so so guys i'm done showering now skincare done shower done you know and if you've not watched my evening reset what did i call that video can you go and check it i'll link it up here so you guys yeah i'm done showering mm, i feel so fresh i feel so good and it's seven and i'm already in my night dress i was thinking about how the other day i went to the supermarket and i don't know if it's me or it's been a while since i went shopping on my own most of the time when i go shopping it's with my mans or something you know so when i went shopping on my own bruh what is this economy fellow kenyans what is this economy because there is no way deodorant a simple deodorant like the one i use the dove one the small one is 600 bob rather why are these guys against us like and why are things tough now that it's our turn to pay bills as the young ones why 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 are they torturing us now that we've stepped into adulthood is why is it now that things are blowing out of proportion prices going up bills going up electricity come on now sorry for another day so let me run the clip on when I, on how i went shopping on that day and i was shocked completely shocked on how things are running in this country so to begin with i bought uh pork sausages then you have chicken over here this one will stop me up for like um two three weeks okay let's say two weeks and then i went to the local butchery and got some pork i just love having food in the house so that i don't have to get out of it now and then i got some milk and then we have roiko uh this chili beef cubes this one's slapping food i love it what else i want some yogurt i love my favorite right now is this um yeah pineapple and coconut one i love it so i bought two i also have apricot orange and honey um some snack i have cheddar 
I needed some serviettes. I ran I ran out of serviettes. Um some pads. In the wing. This is a staple at this point in my house. Whatever I I am staple. Uh some vanilla essence for baking and making pancakes and stuff. Yeah, so and I couldn't even afford juice. I had no to I had to go for uh, the diluting one. Um I had to this one was like 150. Yeah, it was at the end of the day they are all chemicals. Uh I wanted to buy mini tweed, but I was like, ah oh, mini tweed is one hundred and something. Like so I bought this. This was one twenty and this was one fifty. This one will last me long because I'm diluting with water. Yes. Yeah, so I bought the apple one just for my breakfast because I'm just addicted to this, and I just bought this one because I love having um juice in the house, and I couldn't afford buying another mini tweed. So, yeah. What else, you guys? And I also bought um some six pack. Okay, I've already started drinking one. Where is it? I've already started drinking one, but I bought this one. Yeah, some Tasca cider. And then I went to the local uh, bakery. They have really good cakes. Hey, they have really good cakes in that bakery. I love their cakes, especially this marble one. I eat it for breakfast. Comes in handy for breakfast. So I normally buy that every once, you know, once a week, let's say. But then I got some um, cream bar soap. And um, tell me how deal. Let me check. Let, tell me how deal is for ninety nine. Um, I hope. I'm, let me check. Let me bring out my receipts. Tell me. Hey, tell me how. Why this deal is five hundred bob? It's for ninety nine. Five hundred bob. Why? It's a small one. Imagine me on I. It's feel. It feels so unethical. Like I feel robbed. Things are so expensive. I bought two of these. Uh, two of these because they were on offer and I also do a lot of washing and laundry on the machine. So I bought these two. That's it. And I just want to chill, calm down. And it was so hot. So, yeah. I want to make some mac and cheese. And... Uh, some leftover um, liver. This is my country. My mom came with it from the state. And actually, it's so simple to make. But making it in it doesn't have flavor. I don't know if you get me. It doesn't have flavor at all. It doesn't. So, what I like to do, I like preparing the way they say you prepare. And then I take the bumbo sauce from Indomie, bumbo sauce from Indomie, and put it. In my mac and cheese because they don't they literally don't have flavor so this is how they come in so literally inside here is this paste which is some cheese and some seasoning but the seasoning is not as good like i swear to you all like you know me is better than this so this is some cheese and a sauce mixed up together and then you have like the macaroni Tell you what you do is you just boil the macaroni and then add this when you're done simple quick meal so i'm super super hungry so let's do that let me um chim the uh, boil the mac and cheese and you know Welcome back to the vlog. 
it's been a minute it's been a while new day new hairstyle new day we are in another county can you believe that so i was taking my brother to school and that's why we're here so my Ushago place is around this place yeah so i was taking my brother to school okay guys this background ah this background so don't mess don't mind my mess guys to Ushago, so no aesthetics for today we got from i drove from nakuru to kisi kisi to no Ushago place guys me i i'm a certified driver I love myself, like I would date myself. I didn't know I could drive long distance. And then the road from Nakuru to Kisi, there are a lot of meanders. Bro, there are a lot of sharp bends and meanders, but I managed to drove here safely. This is my first long distance drive. And I'm super proud of myself, Chobi. So yeah, we are here. So we'll be headed to school. We'll drop him off at school. And we'll also go to my Ushago place. You guys will get to see my grandmother. Great. But it's funny, it's funny how I don't even have a grandmother. All my grandmothers passed away. But I still have a great grandmother. Can you believe that? I'm blessed. My great grandmother is so strong, actually. She's so she's still so strong. And she's my great grandmother. So I'll be taking you guys along with me to my Ushago place. Like I feel so oh my god. I feel so at peace. I'm very much at peace. I love the environment here. Ah, the breath of fresh air is so refreshing. Yeah, it's just super chill and I love it. It's so green. It's so, you know, I really do love it here. almost 7 30 now but yeah so right now we are like actually i'm at my great grandma's we got here and yeah i'm actually proud of myself because i drove all the way from i drove all the way from nakuru to here i passed to see i passed here by myself put some respect on me in my bag put some respect on my name so yeah, I'm so happy to be here. I don't know, I just feel so... Ah, the fresh, the, the air is so fresh. I don't know, I feel... I just feel free. I don't have worries in my head. Like, I just feel at home. Like, I'm, I don't know how to explain it, but I just feel... Ah, oh yeah, the light went. Oh, I just feel so good, cool. Being... Shago. I, I just like... I feel so good being back home. So that is my great grandma's house. Yeah, and then we have like a jikoni over there in which I'll, uh, I'll go wash up jiko and then this, my great grandmother's house. Yeah, and that's just basically it. Still obsessed with that. Love it. So we have just got here, but we're about to have supper. Even let me record before this supernatural light goes. So we just got here but we're about to have supper and i'm super super hungry i've not had something solid to eat the whole day so yeah let's go eat I, i'm having one of my favorite meals in which i don't know if your luo if you will get but is this some type of fish i don't know if it's catfish in our language we call it mommy uh and then we have like it's catfish it's the meat it's a fish fry there's a lot of meat but no bones that's my favorite dish we in Brenda, it's Brenda, but in my language, we call it a pot and some ugali. And yeah, so bye. My light is gone now. Bye.
Actually, it's a very 